what is going on today. So, uh, I've got my normal drawers to do here. Um, I got to vacuum and do up the very little bit of dishes from last night. I'm waiting on my coffee to warm up. There's still like two cups of coffee left from yesterday. So I'm waiting for that to warm up. Um, so today my little brother D is coming over and we're gonna play some video games, possibly. I don't know, but probably that's what he wants to do. But um, I, to be honest, kinda wanna work on my book, but um, him and I haven't hung out in mm, quite a while, actually. Um, last time we hung out was for his birthday and it wasn't just him and I, like his girlfriend was there, my nephew was there, Purple Kitty was there, and then his parents, of course, so, um, like him and I haven't hung out by ourselves in a while, so, um, I'm gonna have him go ahead and come over, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm feeding the frog, um, and so he's going to come over here in probably about an hour. I told him to give me like an hour. That way I can get shit done around here. Now I'm feeding the fish. So I'm going to get the animals fed. Well, these animals. And then I'm going to do the dishes real quick and vacuum. And I'll probably still have plenty of time before he even gets here. Um, so I'll go ahead and work on my illustrations for my book. Um, I was hoping he had uh, like 20 bucks that I could borrow. Um, because I get money in two days. But uh, I needed new gel pens for illustrating my book but unfortunately he does not have the money so I guess I have to wait two days um, before I can do any illustrations I mean technically I could use some other form of writing utensil or coloring or drawing utensil or whatever but I just for whatever reason really felt that I god damn it Oh, hey, Steven. Good morning, buddy. I just really felt the need that I needed to use color or uh, gel pens for some reason. Um, but there's a particular set of gel pens that I want to find. So Sophia Denton, who is also a YouTuber, but she dabbles in more of just the drawing side of things. Um, she doesn't do vlogs or anything because she's that young. Um, and I know her personally. I've known her for years. I've known her since she was three. Um, but she recently got a set of gel pens that I would really like to get my hands on. But I don't know where she got them and she's not for sure where she got them. So I think after she gets out of school today, I'm going to have her look and see what the brand is. And then... Um, just go from there. Fuck these biscuits. That we only paid a dollar seventy-five for them. Dun dun dun. They molded. I'm sad because only one was taken out of there, and I didn't even eat it. Um, but anyway, like I said, I think I'm gonna have her uh, check on the brand and see what brand they are, and then look around first before I buy them to find out, you know, where they are. Because she says that she can't remember where she got them. She's like, it could have been Riverside, Walmart, or Barnes & Noble. Or maybe an actual, like, hobby store. So, um, as soon as I know what the brand is, then I'll just look it up online. Look at those stores and see which stores have them. Um, but the main reason why I want it is because it comes with a white gel pen. Like, I didn't know white gel pens were a thing. So, um, and besides, I still, you know, I need new gel pens because gel pens tend to use up, like, 
ridiculously fast. Especially if you're using them for coloring purposes. You know, they're just, they just use up really, really fast. So, and for whatever reason, they tend to like, you know, if they don't use up, they end up drying out, which is weird. Like, I don't know how that happens. It just does. So, um, at any rate, I need some new gel pads. I was kind of hoping that D had like 20 bucks that I can borrow until, um, like Friday, but, well, not even Friday, Thursday, Thursday. Um, but, uh, I actually get my money on Thursday, I think. Whatever day the first is, is when I'll be getting money. But, all he had was 10 bucks, and, you know, um, depending on if I had to go to Flint to go and get gel pens from either a craft store or Barnes & Noble. Barnes & Noble are both, and craft stores are both out in Flint, so I would have to go to Flint, too. But, hi, love! Yeah? Okay. What? No, you're not going outside. Sorry. So, anyway, so today, yeah, we're probably going to be throwing down some Xbox. I might try to vlog a little bit while he's here. I don't know how he really feels about being on my vlog. Um, like, I know there's not too many people that really want to be on my vlog or feel that it's something that they should do, um, but I guess I'll see how he feels about it, and at least, you know, have him say hey or whatever, um, since I couldn't vlog for his birthday or on his birthday because his mom didn't want me to, um, so... I don't know, might, might have him at least say hey, or whatever. Um, uh, today, after he leaves, though, Steven has to do his vlogs. Um, I do know that I will be working on my illustrations today for my book. So, um, that is definitely something that I will be doing today. Will be doing. Not want to do. No, I will be doing that today. Um, I've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. I finally have my first chapter of my book, like I told you, done. Um, I just have to do a few drawings for it. You know, because although this is going to be a... I'm going to say mature book. Um, because I know 90% of teenagers and even preteens are swearing nowadays. Um... I'm going to say that it is a mature book because, yes, there is a little bit of swearing in it and stuff. And so, um, even though it is a mature book, yes, there will be illustrations. Because I'm sorry, but any book that I have ever read for... Hang on, I have to sneeze. <coughs> oh, I may have just dabbed a little. Um, sorry. Um... Anyway, uh, as I was saying, any book that I may have read or that I have read that is, like, for teen, maturity, you know, creeping into adulthood, they don't have any type of illustrations or pictures. Um, you know, so it's really up, left up to your imagination to imagine what is going on. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Look at the still white and half asleep. What? You're the one that walked past me. Um, so I am um, definitely going to put illustrations in my book. Just because I think it's I feel, you know, even as a reader, I feel that it is a lot nicer having illustrations because um you know, you don't just have to leave it up to your imagination. You know, you don't have to try and imagine what, like, say it's a horror book and, you know, there's like a serial killer or whatever, you know, and, you know, they're describing him, um, you know, 
you know, they could be describing him, but you can be imagining him, you know, with the description of him, but you would be imagining him different than what the actual writer was trying to portray. So I think, at least with illustrations in the book, that, you know, at least most people, you know, people don't have to try and imagine this or try to see what the writer is trying to say or do or, you know, what a person's supposed to look like or a creature or whatever, you know. So I think illustrations are good. Um, I honestly think that they would bring in more, more, more following and more reading, um, you know, especially if they're good illustrations or, you know, like I said, since mine is mature, so, you know, there'll be like creepy stuff, blood, gore, probably. And, you know, for those people who are actually into, you know, like thrillers and horror stuff and you know, just all around creepy shit, you know, it's going to bring more people in because there's going to be illustrations of this blood, this gore, you know, this whatever. So I am doing illustrations for my book. I have so far got my main character drawn up and my secondary main character drawn up. And there's one more main character of this book. That I have not drawn up yet. But um, I haven't got to him yet. He will be popping up in my second chapter actually. But um, you know I've just got the characters drawn up right now. I don't even have you know anything else going on yet. I don't have any other illustrations going on. So I literally just drew up them two characters last night. And I actually did a time-lapse drawing of both of them. So, um, once I get my gel pens, or if I decide to use colored pencils, I might just decide to use colored pencils. Um, then I'll go ahead and time-lapse draw, or color that, and I will be putting it Not really in my vlog per se, but, um, you know, I'll do like a little time lapse drawing thing. I actually have one other time lapse drawing. I had three, but, uh, they somehow have disappeared and actually one disappeared and the other one I accidentally deleted. Um, I did not mean to do that because I deleted it off of my phone and I did not mean to do that and I was so pissed off at myself. Because that one took me hours in real life to do. Um, and it was like like three minutes time lapse wise. But yeah, I know that pissed me off. But I'm going to start doing like these little time lapse drawings. And once I get like three of them, because they're like super, super short for time lapse, they're like just a few minutes. But I think after I get like three or four of them, done um, I'm going to put them all in one video and then post them for you guys and let you guys see what I do normally um, I still have to you know, I'm just gonna wait and see if you guys like my work um, if you do then I will go ahead and um, I may or may not show you pictures of what I have previously done throughout the years um, there, there are days where I'll get into like a extreme drawing and sketching kick and I will do this for like a week or better and just draw shit. Just like boom, 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 boom. You know, I'll get like four or five done a day and that may or may not be with coloring. That may just be just straight up pencil drawing or it may actually be colored. It just depends on my mood. Um... I actually have people that request me to draw shit for them. Um, once it gets to that point, you know, especially if they're wanting to keep it, um, unfortunately I do charge just because of the fact that nobody actually realizes what it costs for these supplies. 
paper is outrageous. Um, like my smaller notebooks are normally about eight bucks, which isn't too, too bad. But my really, really big one is like $30. Um, the color pencils I use are uh, damn near $200 for a 75 piece set or 72 piece set. It's 72 piece. Uh, but yeah, damn near $200 for that. And then plus, you know, pencils and erasers and blah, 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 blah. But, uh, so yeah, there's that. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go because now I have like 40 minutes before he comes over. Um, not that it's going to take me, but maybe 10 minutes to, uh, do the dishes and vacuum. I already got the dishwater ready. The vacuum. So I will see you guys later. Okay. So peace out. Bye. 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 Okay. Cool. So, um, Blue Sapphire here coming at ya, fellas and ladies and children and puppies and kitties. So we are on day, well, episode two of our, um, seven days to die game uh we started yesterday um i don't really w remember when, when did we stop when day was, were we on when we stopped purple kitty doesn't remember either um but why are you changing everything it it all stays the same no matter what zombies run at night um so anyway so we're getting back into our game um we didn't do too bad yesterday although we did try and find that city again that we ran into earlier earlier in the game yesterday but we couldn't find it but now that we actually know how to set waypoints on our actual map and we actually found the city on the map then um i don't know if it's daylight or nighttime right now in the game so whenever daytime hits, we're going to head to that city again and see what kind of goodies are over there. Ooh, we have to make sure we clear out our inventory completely other than water and food and then the things that we actually need. Weapons and such. Ooh, man. Uh, okay, let me, let me hop on in here. All right, I'm joining in. Raven, that's me. officially on day seven all right guys we are officially officially oh i am just sporting this wrench we're officially on day seven you guys um yes we will admit we have died a few times but it was not due to zombies well no no actually we starved we've starved to death more than anything and I bled out once. From starving to death. No, I, I was already starving to death. And then a zombie hit me. And then I bled out and died. Like, immediately. So, it is 1.53 in the morning. Check out our burning barrel that we found from the campsite across the way. Yes, yeah, so we put it on the porch. That way they can't get on the porch. Like, they try and climb over it, but it doesn't do any good. But at least with it being on the porch, we're able to see out a little ways. Is like you guys can barely see it, but out in the distance is a huge rock. Like before, we weren't able to see that rock until we put that barrel out there, and now we oh, can. Oh yeah, that's my cave. That's your that's your cave. Okay, so apparently that's Purple Kitty's cave. Don't ask. Um, so we have actually forged a few things since. Uh, then I don't really remember, did we forge things before we got off? Before yeah, we ended right. our vlog? Or was it after we ended our vlog? Are you enjoying spinning? Oh, sorry. I, I laid my tour down. Um, so, what am I? Okay, I was looking at the ceiling. I thought I was looking at the floor. Anyway, so did we craft things before? Like, this axe and stuff before we got off or before did we okay well anyway guys we have 
we figured out how to do things now. Crap, did I ever turn that water off over there? Is the water done? Yeah, you took it all out. Oh, I did, didn't I? It's all here. Awesome. No, I got 15 on me too. Yeah, but I'm keeping 15 on me for when we leave. Uh, ooh, how do I make coffee? Can I actually make coffee? Oh, snap, I can. I we only have two. That's okay. So we'll literally, this will be the only coffee we have. All right, making coffee, guys. Do it. It's 2 a.m. and we're getting coffee. All right, here we go, making some coffee. Making us some coffee. I hope we find more coffee. Away. Yeah, um, I'll go ahead and put stuff away. We've got I'm 25 putting minutes. our food in the fridge for now. Um, let's see. This is our ammo, or our, uh, our gun cabinet for right now. Um, I have some fertile dirt. We did plant a bunch of crops yesterday. We got a bunch of crops outside planted. Oh. And we got a bunch of new totes and stuff. I think I'm just going to throw this fertile dirt in here. Um... Of course, are always going there. Anyway, um, so then all I have is I gotta get rid of the jars yet, but then I'll have everything that I just need anyway, for just in case. So I'm not gonna bring the hoe though. We don't need the hoe. So leave your hoe here, okay. unless you plan on going and fertile dirting everywhere you go mm. to plant things. You know, 50 miles away from the house. While we're on it, we have to get. Iron, cause we only have six iron, and I want a better axe. Okay, well, I want a pickaxe, and I want an actual okay. iron shovel and stuff too. That's why we're going to get something um, like this. And then what do we ever need a shovel for? Uh, shoveling dirt. Shoveling but why would we ever need to shovel dirt? <laughs> like, since we can't actually make glass out of actual sand, which is stupid. I can make coffee. I can make two more coffee. Alright, well we don't need any oh, more yeah. than that right now. We got two right here. Alright, here's your coffee. I'm going to lay it on the counter, okay? Okay, I'm not going to lay it on the counter. Apparently it's going to lay right in front of the counter. Right there in the corner. Hang on, I want to see what the effects are, though. Oh, yeah. Why? Stamina, 100%. Ooh, maybe we should wait on that. Effects, caffeine buzz, 100. Coffee gives you energy, keeps your stamina up, and helps you stay warm for a limited time. Maybe we should wait on drinking this. I'm going to put it in my inventory. And... We'll just drink water I'm going for now. To some stuff. I'm, I'm going to organize my inventory too. Actually, I'm gonna run to the lake real quick okay. and Go fill up back. these five jars that I have. Oh, we also have to take. Here's our plants, guys. I left the door open, by the way. That's okay. That's so, cool. what is that? Look at that! Look at that! See the blue up there? Isn't it pretty? As you say, that is a moon. So that's what you were wondering what it was. Hey, it's pretty much daytime. So I'm going to fill these jars up real quick and at least go put them in the campfire. And then, then we'll go. Why is your heart beating so fast? Ooh, we need to bring food. Do we have enough food to bring? I have seven, um, a boiled egg and two peas of chili. Do we have any beef left? Any meat? We don't have any meat left? We just had... I just... Oh, we have peas. You gonna say what? What happened to that chicken? We just had chicken. Uh... 
Uh, I'm just gonna say boiled water. Let me see if I can make us any honey things. Alright, well then I'm just gonna cook up this boiled water real quick then. How many can you make? Four? Oh, hide stuff? Yeah. You have, let's see, seven hide. Can you make like butter boots or something? Can you make a pair each or? Nope. Oh god, you can't make anything. I can only make one thing. Because it has two, you need. So we have those like cloth boots right now. Oh, we only have plant fiber boots. Wait, check out the cloth boots. Three. Provides cloth. some protection against the weather and a little protection against other damage types. Totally do cloth boots. You can do a lot of cloth things actually. I think we could do like. We got a lot of cloth fragments, right? Uh -huh. I'm gonna even make more with this cotton seed, or with this cotton that I have. There's a cloth fragment over here, too. Right here. Yeah. There's two of them. I'm gonna make me a bandage just to bring with, just in case. Uh, you had bandages? Okay, here. I know, but I only had two cloth fragments on me, so I figured I'd just make them. You ready? Yeah. Cues. Nice. Chest. Nice. Gloves. Nice. Hood. Nice. Legs. Nice. Well, I'm wearing jeans, so. I know, but this is actual armor. Armor? So it will still go on you. See, look, it still goes on you. Oh! Oh, nice! Oh! Oh, I didn't know that! You look weird. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you're wearing a fucking rug on your chest. Aww. Oh my god, look at your weirdness! Oh, but that's cool though. Oh, wait, what about your feet? Beautiful. Oh, that's more better. That's more better. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, it looks like she's wearing a rug on her. What looks better? Hang on, look at me real quick. What looks better? This or this? Uh, I like the bandana, but like the hood. No, you it... like the um, hat, the skull cap, or the hood. Oh, um, I don't know. Where's the skull cap? This is a skull cap for my hair. How does your hair glitch out of the skull cap? And yet it doesn't glitch through. The green bandana glitches through it. This one. Um, well, at least with the green skull cap, I can see your bright red hair. So then I don't lose you. Alright, we're going to have to go. So let me put my clothes on here. Or my armor. Let me put my armor on. Let's just throw it in here for now. Oh man, I like my hat though. Maybe I take no, hat. actually, I don't like the hat. Ew. <laughs> it's like a normal hat. It's not a yeah. skull cap on me. I guess I'll just wear the hood. Alright, there we go. Those are. Nope, put the other gloves back on. There you go. There we go. Where's my shoes? There. There are. Okay, okay. Now I start putting. Okay. I'm hot. There you go. Put them away. All right. Perfectly. Look at that. That is so how you put stuff away. Yep, they totally stacked right on top of each other. I hope they just dis I got my disappear. Because. My 
All right, so you got, you want to separate that food and stuff and give me one piece of meat Yeah. and eggs and stuff. Yeah, and I have plenty of water. Don't set it on the table because uh, I always take the table. Oh, uh, yeah, you always set the table on the ground. Pick up the egg before it runs away. Alright, so let's roll out. I feel warm by the fire. It looks nice outside for winter temperatures. Oh, it does. It's beautiful out today. What's your name again? We've been living together all this time and I don't remember your name. Your name Rose or something? Yes. Well, how you doing, Rosie? I am Raven. Why is there ketchup on the road? That's not ketchup. Oh. All right, so somewhere We've this way ha is the city. So How do you feel if we just ran off this way and you want it? <sighs> feathers. Jesus. I'll just leave them there. I don't let them collect feathers. More feathers. We go this way. We go east. There's a pig. Yeah. And also the Zambi. No. Oh, you're nasty. Ooh, look what I just found. You saw Googles. Yeah. Well, I just seen that happen. Ooh, I found me some Googles. Googles. Are they bugles? No, they're they're Googles. Oh, yeah. I found me some Googles, baby. So, so I got the question: How bloody is my fire axe right now? Pretty bloody. Yeah, so Do you like your fire axe, my friend? Yeah. Pretty nice, isn't she? Random trash. And take it. Oh, we got some moldy bread. bread. Take it, take oh, it, take yeah, it. I that. I think we need to put antibiotics because we need moldy bread and nitrate. We have a bunch of nitrate powder. We just need moldy bread, moldy bread, oh. moldy bread, moldy oh. bread. I just can't say it with ketchup, guys. No. The reality is. We're on actual road, not dirt road. Because we can't smell it. Yep. You can smell it? Can you smell the death? Yep, I can smell the death. Death from the city. What was that? Oh, it's just some trash. I thought it was like a bird nest. By the way, you may want to eat this food so you can eat it. What? Oh, uh, the meat on us. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, hang on. Let me just check and see what my. I am. Where's my hunger thing? Ah, food. I'm at 69%. I'm okay, but I don't eat anyway. So you don't be smelly. So they won't be like. We need to seriously find containers to store food in. Empty pile of trash. That way we can actually carry food on us and not have to worry about. Could you get that, please? Oh yeah, sure. Here, I'm friend. collecting an egg. Whack him! Whack him! Whack him good like that. Mm, a moldy sandwich and three feathers. I think we'll just leave that there. Probably. Uh, we still got to check for feathers and, or not feathers, but bird's nests and stuff. I think we're getting here because here's a sign. Literally. Let's see what this says. Hmm. Oh, that that's a sign that goes the other way though. Phoenix, Yuma, Las Vegas, and Los Angeles. So we were in one of those areas. We were in Phoenix. To a 25 mile an hour sign. Alright, so I think we're getting close to the city. How can we tell? All this money. All that and my map says that we are. Yay, here we are. We are at the city, you guys. Alright, check everything. Alright, I'll check the way you check this car. Nothing. We got half runner, half walker, man. 
wow, why do you sound so vicious? Right, I'm infected. Do you happen to bring any antibiotics? Thought about it and then. Oh! Hey! Holy shit, Captain! Do you happen to look behind you? No! Yeah, can we take them all? Took his head off. You got this, my friend. Man. Bitch, you will lay down. Get down, Mr. Tall Man. Fuck. search all these motherfuckers now. Wait, there's one more. Shit, are you kidding me? Nope. Damn it, he had a shirt, too. He had a long sleeve shirt. Ooh, a can of tuna. You got a crawler. Oh, that one will pop up a bag, but the other dead guy won't pop up a bag that actually had a shirt. Go figure, huh? Brain, stupid! You grab my ankles. You're biting my ankles. Some water. You need water. No, I don't. No, yeah, we have. Okay, what I do need is I need to eat this one. Are you broken? Uh huh. I'm infected. Oh. I need I'm antibiotics. Infected. I need some more of those. I got some painkillers. Got meat. I got chicken soup in there. Got another guy coming. Alright, another fat guy. I infected you! Here's a girl. I don't know what she's doing. She just walked past me to get to you. Got her. Ooh, more food. Some beef rations. I got peanuts, guys. I got beef and peanuts. Cool, that's great. I'm glad. I'm so happy for you. We both need some antibiotics. Got more painkillers. Oh, now I'm beautiful, guys. I need more of this. Do you look lovely? Oh, I'm lucky. Sorry, I was looking at the ground. Damn, you was sexy. Yeah. Alright, All right, cool. uh, check the mailbox. Check the mailbox. This is good. Yep, everything. Even though mailboxes only normally have paper, so it's really cool. Uh, you're checking this car. Let's go in here. What do you want? Lid. I'll just break in. Didn't think of that. Let's go in. Nothing. Oh, grocery basket. Fuck! There's only water in here. Break this down. Okay. That works. I know. Oh, we gotta break this down. There's that guy in there. Oh, really? Jeez. Search of the dead guy. Search him. Yeah, paper. Anybody know what paper is for? Not a clue. All right, if you guys happen to know what paper is for in this game, if you've played it, 
Could you please comment down below and let us know what the paper is for? Because nothing. I have yet to find out what paper is for. Got cooking pot, um, guys. So, ooh, what is this? A pistol book. And one schematic for a hunting rifle. Guys, again, I got another cooking pot. There's another beautiful potted plant. Should we take it? Yeah. Alright, you can take it. Ooh, what is this? A blood, blood draw, draw kit. kit. Nice. We could use that. That might come in handy. You want some Googles? There's some Googles in here. There you go. The potted plant. Oh, we already picked it up. Okay. Is there anything in the kitchen? Uh, no, besides two cooking pots. Did you take them? Yeah, I took them both. Okay, cool. Antibiotics, no. Anything in the toilet? Some poop and murky water. Alright, moving on. This is a bark. Did you check all the cupboards in the oven yeah. and the refrigerator and everything? Yeah. Right. Okay. Why do I need to go? Because I heard some baby. Okay. We just took on, like, did you check this beverage cooler? No. Uh, no. We got more water. Let me kick some off of my stove so I can see where you hear it. Oh, it's okay. Oh, yes. Beer. And more empty jars. I think I'm taking the empty jars just because of the fact that I we have off. such a mad water supply at home because of all of these empty jars. Like, dude, seriously, if you guys come across empty jars, fucking take them. Like, no matter what, you can stack 15 of them. So just take them because they come in handy, do they not? They do. They do. Excuse me. Excuse me, can we get out? Yeah. Um, I can't. Okay. Moving on. Next building across the street. Oh, oh, gross. You hear it? Yeah. Alright, I'll check this white sedan. Literally, it looks like there's nails in here. There is nails and gunpowder. See who gets in first. Me, but I can't jump up three times. It's very hard. Yeah, this really knocks down the uh, it does. entering things quite quickly now. Beverage coolers. Nothing. Bottle of water. Oh, you should still have one? Yeah. Okay. I guess I'll drink this one. Found more paper, guys. More paper. I just picked up a shopping cart for no reason. Uh, a red tank top. That one. Yeah, I'm bringing it anyway. I forgot to put my goggles on. I don't know. Did you put your goggles on? <gasps> what is wrong with you? You'll never find me, guys. Bam! Wow! Look at that! Man, I look amazing. Y'all see this shit? God, I am so hot. Oh, man. What is going on up here? You'll never find me. Did you search everywhere up here, Rhea? Or were you not searching? You didn't search anything. Did you? Yes, I did. And everything says it's untouched. Everything on the bottom is. Jars. I'm watching you. That's a little creepy, my friend. Did you get down from there? Oh, yeah, sure. You're gonna hurt yourself. Um, I need this. I need a blood bag just in case I need to get some blood. Hey, I know how to make do that now, so, you know. What? Um, do you want the pistol book or the hunting rifle schematic? You can learn how to do that then. Learn how to pistol. 
I will eat this schematic. We'll eat our lunch together. Are you ready? Yep. We're gonna sit ready? Down. Set. I'm just gonna stand. Go. Wait, I have to heal up before. Alright, I'm joking. I'm gonna go breaking in here. Just a gun schematic. Shotgun schematic. A shotgun schematic. You want the shotgun schematic? Okay. Here you go. Ready? Yep. You, you like shotguns, so. Shotguns. Wait. Oh. Did you search this? No. Alright. Ooh, hats. Ooh, a mining helmet. Ooh, paper! Mining helmet and a black skull cap again. Oh, we could go up. We could go up. Do we need a mining helmet? Should I grab it? Oh, yeah, I grabbed it. I grabbed that one. Okay, mining helmet. Alright, go upstairs. I grabbed that one. Is there anything up here? Any bird's nest? Oh, yep, yeah, there is. A bird's nest? A bird's nest. I can't apparently ladder today. Nope, I can't. I hurt myself. I'm just not gonna go up there okay. because I'm hurting myself, so I'll just meet you outside. Here, I think I can make one. Can make one what? Split. Oh, you broke oh I broke my leg. Wow, I didn't realize I broke my leg. Do you have cloth fragment? Because I had I have the wood. I I need more wood. Okay, just give me the cloth fragment. Easier doing it that way. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And if anything, I could have just been like, oh, let's beat up a couch. Which really we really should, but making me that splint so I can eat that shit. Why are you breaking that? You're wasting your axe. Alright, there we go. I've been splinted. And let's move on to the next way. Which is right here. Across the way? Or? Yeah. Okay. Okay, for our purpose, I guess. That is metal. Ooh. I think somebody's in here. Yep. Break in. Start hitting. Going. I got nothing but between me and a grocery basket with an empty jar and some rations. Yes. Go on upstairs then. Oh, she's locked upstairs. Uh -huh. There's a cooking pot. And another cooking pot under the sink. So there's a cooking pot right here. A cooking pot under the sink. Another empty jar and the refrigerator. Do they actually stack? What cooking pots? Yeah. Cool. Because I just got two cooking pots. 
I'm sure they eventually wear out. toilet too. Sorry. Trash can. We have gas can schematic and some lead. Did you say we need a lead? Yeah. Oh, eat this gas can. What did you end up eating? Leather, leather. Oh, look, a green tank top. Yeah. And a nice wooden desk. Alright, time to go. I'm so infected. So am I. What happens if you stay infected for too long? <sighs> Bad things, I'm sure. You probably eventually. Turn. How do you feel if we actually turn and we're actually able to play as zombies for the rest of the time? That'd be actually cool. Okay, why haven't you been picking up lead? Or uh, that's iron. We need iron in order. Yeah, room. true. How much room do you have? Because I'm running out of room. Not much. Really? Yeah. I guess I can throw the cot now. Do you have any shivs? Yeah. Wait. Yeah. I have three on me. Alright, my stuff. Nope. Just my stuff. Can you check the car? Yeah. Stupid bird feathers. Hello, hello, hello. Nothing. Paper and money. Beer. Schematics. We have some iron leg armor. And then some stuff. And shotgun. Just an easy pump. And some bow for me. A shotgun. Search for off the beverage coolers. Ooh, beer. Oh, we have a chair. I'll meet you upstairs. Okay, I'm gonna grab a couple glass jars and beer. And eat this other schematic while I walk. I guess what? Another cooking pot. Sweet. Yeah, we've never opened the locked doors in none of the places. Two more cooking pots. I now have five cooking pots. It's gonna be a while. Laundry one. There's an upstairs. I have a broken leg, so I can't go up the ladder because I'll fall down again. So uh, I'll meet you back down here. I'm gonna go and try and open this door. I have a broken leg too, but it didn't come from the right here. Stupid locked door. That helped. A uh, gun safe. What's your name? Oh, that's the stairs. Don't break the stairs.
swear this is the longest I've ever had a weapon without it breaking. But then again, we've never had anything iron. Or steel. We've always had just stone. But you do realize the other three buildings had locked doors too. So I would like to get enough lead and stuff on the way home because I would like to make more uh, nice. metal nice and broke. stuff so I can uh, repair my axe. This, when we head back home, we should stop for the day because it's already been 41 minutes. So this will be the last thing we do, and then we'll go home, we'll put everything away, and then we'll stop the video. Over. Well, we'll go ahead and smelt some stuff. And then we'll, like, put stuff on the way home. We'll get some... We'll get more... Oh, it's yeah. broken. It finally died. into my inventory and get my little stone axe, that would be great. Sorry. Ow, again. Like I immediately whacked you. As you see, my beautiful axe is broken now. Both of our things are broken. Okay. So, as soon as we open this, we'll go ahead and head back towards home. Um, and get some iron smelting. That way we can repair our axes and pickaxe. Well, her pickaxe. I don't have a pickaxe yet. But I have an axe and it's it's been wonderful using it. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Okay, what is in there? Is it all gun stuff? Yep. Cool, take it. Like I said, we'll eventually have enough stuff to make an actual weapon. Had enough room in my inventory for this stuff. That's great. Okay, she gave us medicine. Take it because it's a. Uh oh, hold on, let me hold it back. Alright. Alright, running home. Do we right, find any. It's not broken. And break small rocks. But. Yes, we need to break small rocks because we need more iron. What the f fuck was that? Oh, that was me. I'm hungry. Oh. And I'm like, what is that? Moaning. There's some little rocks. I don't exactly remember how much we need to be able to repair. I think it was five. Five for everything. I'm just gonna collect. Oh, 
until I run out of axe, which will be here just very soon. Same. And, and now you're punching. Still gonna finish it. Got this much rock left, and then that other. Are you okay, God? Can you run? I'm out of breath. Oh, now's the time for coffee. Wait for me. They're like on me and I can't do anything. Help! Oh my God, come on. On me. Like, yeah, I know because I'm like I'm stunned right now. I can't move. Oh god, maybe we should just find a building and go in it. Very but. much so, because I can't move again. Oh my god, no. Oh god, no! Hey guys, Blue Sapphire here. So I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog for today. Um, the phone ended up shutting off at like 40 some minutes. Uh, but I don't know if you guys saw, but we both ended up dying. We got stuck in the city and we got mauled by runners. So, um... Uh, she messed around with the settings and kind of screwed us. So now everything that we just gathered from within the city is gone. Everything. All the clothes, all the weapons, all the food, everything is gone because she dicked around in the settings. And, you know, when we, we had the settings set for when we die, we just drop our hot bar. And that's it. And then everything in our inventory stays there. Yeah, well, that's not the case now. And now that she messed with the settings, we lost everything. So we have nothing. We are, like, running around in our skibbies. We're skibby runners. Skibby runners. Skibby runners. I don't know what that means. We're running around in our underwear. Skibbies. Skibbies mean underwear. Dumbass. So, looks like tomorrow when we play, if she's even wanting to play now because she done screwed us. Um, what? Yeah, you should be mad at yourself. So, uh, looks like tomorrow we'll try and get everything back again. Um... I guess for now we'll go, well, first things first, we will go find our backpacks. Because at least everything that was in the inventory will be in the backpack. But we have to wait till daytime. That's the problem. Because we're not going to be able to do it at night because neither one of us have a torch now. I didn't even bring my torch. I had my torch on me. 
So we'll have to find our backpacks first thing. And then we'll be able to get most of our stuff back, hopefully. Um, the clothes we won't be able to get back. The axes. Anything that was in our hot bar we can't get back. But don't everything... Don't the backpack with everything. No, it don't. Especially with that. if there's any room. If there's no room, it won't go in there. I'm lucky because I think I have like three slots left, so hopefully the things that were in my hot bar will go in to my, my backpack. Then that means that I'll be able to save my axe at least. So let's hope that happens and let's hope that the backpacks are still there. My laptop's still frozen. So shut it off and turn it back on. It's already shut off. Well, it can't still be frozen. It needs to be completely shut off. It is. You're an idiot. So, um... I'm gonna go. I will see you guys. Sorry. Um, tomorrow, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and get this vlog edited. And, um, tomorrow Randall has off. So, normally when he has off, I try not to do a very long vlog. But, I mean, if me and Purple Kitty actually do part three of Seven Days to Die tomorrow, um, then we'll do that right after she gets out of school. Um, then that'll give you guys a little more time. We started really late today with that. We started at what? 7.30? So, no, about 7 o'clock. It was about 7 o'clock. It's 8 o'clock now. So, 7 o'clock we started. Um, 10 o'clock she goes to bed. So I gotta, I gotta go ahead and get dinner started. But at least this gives me time to work on my, um, illustrations for my book. I really didn't get to do much today because like I told you earlier, my little brother came over. And then me and Purple Kitty decided to play Seven Days because I don't know why, but she's on a kick to play Seven Days. Why are you on a kick to play Seven Days? Calvin? Calvin? Calvin. Now she's going to be a grouchy little bitch for the rest of the night, aren't you? That was a yes. Get over it. So anyway... I'm going to go ahead and go, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Stay fresh, people. Because we don't want you dead like these zombies and stinking up the place. Right? She doesn't ever stay fresh. Do you? Did you not have a pimple like your hair? Does it hurt? Because it's in that little weird crease. Run, squirrel! Run! Hate you, squirrel. Alright, so I'm gonna go, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, and to subscribe. And like I said, if you guys know the purpose of paper in seven days to die, please, please comment down below and let us know because I have no idea what the use is for paper. So please, let us know. Peace out, guys. <laughs>
I love all my followers on Instagram. I love Bubbles. I love Red Dot. I love Rope. I love my tube that I can play in. And I am one. And this is very interesting. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my. What? So is that it? Yeah. That was really short. It wasn't even two minutes. Well, what else do, am I supposed to say? Well, is there anything else you like? Um, I like my poop. Ew. <laughs> I like my food. Um, I love Dad. I love you. I love to beat up Sissy. <laughs> Are you talking about Betty? Yeah. She's not nice. Why? Because she's not. She throws stuff at me. Um, that's not being nice. Do you want to know what she throws at me? What? Pebbles. That's that's not nice. Why? Because she's giving me treats. Oh, I ate it. I ate the pebble she threw at me. Um, this red dot is interesting. And that's all. That's all? Yeah. Are you gonna, at least going to come say goodbye? I'll say goodbye. No, you need to come here. I can't. Come here. Okay, guys. So, goodbye. Bye, guys. You guys are my favorite. Derp. Bye. Said bye. I'm leaving. Bye, guys. You guys are the best.